Hi buddies, this is Shukesh Bonik and you are watching Gadgets Portal. Today as you can see I have got the new Samsung Galaxy Chat B530 and I am going to make an unboxing and quick hands-on review on this mobile phone. From the picture over here as you can see it has got a nice portrait style keyboard and this will be very helpful for chatting and also may feel a little bit more comfortable than typing on the glass. Now here on the back you are getting some features like it has got up to 7.2 Mbps download speed and 5.76 Mbps upload speed on 3G which is fairly nice for an entry level device like this. Now this is a quad band single sim phone and the display is 7.56 cm or around 3 inches with QVG resolution and the camera is 2 megapixel fixed focus. The UI is Samsung's latest touch with Nature UX and you are also getting GPS support with AGPS and also Bluetooth 3.0, Wi-Fi BGN and also Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich which is quite nice. Now let's check about the price and the color of the device is white actually but there are some black versions available in the market. Now the price on the box is 9750 rupees but you can get it under 8500 rupees which is actually quite nice for a device like this. Now let's start the unboxing and let me show you what are the things inside. Here it is friends, here is the Samsung Galaxy Chat and the dimension is quite large actually but the feel and the look is quite premium, the build quality is excellent. Now let's check what are the things inside. Here first you are getting the user guide. Now next thing you are getting is the headphone or headsets and as you can see it is not in your type. It is just like the one I got on the Samsung Y2 slide and as you can see the 3.5 inch jack has a nice gold plating which is quite good for premium sound quality and the earpieces are also quite premium looking. The build is quite good and here is the inline microphone with some push button technology. I've actually tested the headphone on other Samsung devices and I will not say this produces amazing quality sounds but it is quite okay for normal talking and listening to music. The voice clarity is good. Now here you are getting the charger along with the micro USB port and the dimension of the adapter is also quite good. It will save a lot of space on your switchboard but the wire could have been in the back side. Now you are also getting a data cable for connecting this phone to your PC for data syncing, charging and also for using this phone as a modem. Now let's check the battery for this device. Well the battery capacity is only 1200 mAh which is kinda low for an android device specifically. I will test the battery and tell you how good or bad is the battery life in my in depth review so don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get rid of these things here and let me show you a quick review on this mobile phone. Now here is the sim card slot and here is the micro SD card slot which is hot swappable. Here it is ultimately and look at the device friends, the appeal, the design, the build quality of this phone is amazingly good actually. It is feeling quite premium on the hand and though the phone is made of totally plastic, there is no trace of metal but still the build quality and the feel of the device is not cheap at all especially compared to the Galaxy Y series. And the most remarkable thing about this phone is obviously this portrait style full keyboard. The keys are also quite sturdy and also raised from the body which is quite nice for typing. I think there should not be any problem in typing on this keyboard if you have medium to small sized hands. I am actually quite happy with the build quality of this device and the price is only 8500 rupees which is just equal to the Galaxy Y Duos. Now the device has a 3 inch screen with QVJ that is 320 by 240 pixels at 133 ppi which is not very good. Here is the ear speaker grill and here are some sensors and there is no front facing camera on this mobile phone. Here are the 3 android capacity buttons and as you know this is the back button, this is the home as well as the multitasking and this is the option or menu button. Here is the full sized QRT keypad and there are some other buttons on the keyboard, I will test that later. Here is the volume rocker along with the hole for attaching lanyard or charm. 
and here on the right hand side you are getting the power as well as the lock unlock key and the position of the power key and the volume rocker is quite nice actually as this is a fairly large device now here on the top you are getting the 3.5mm headphone jack and here is a small groove for removing the back cover which is a fairly easy task on this phone and here is the charging as well as the data sync port and here is the tiny microphone hole now the back cover of this phone is quite shiny and here is the speaker grill and here is the 2 megapixel shooter with QVGA video recording which is kinda disappointing on a device like this. I will upload the camera samples in my Facebook page facebook.com slash so check that out. Now the back as you can see is quite glossy though there is no trace of fingerprint on the back cover which is quite nice actually and the screen is also quite fingerprint friendly and there is a matte finish over the screen so this phone will not get dirty easily. Now the dimension of the phone is actually quite large it is 118.9 by 59.3 by 11.7 mm and let me show you side by side with my Optimus 3D which has got 4.3 inch screen and as you can see their dimensions are not that much different and the thickness of 11.7 mm on the Galaxy Chat is not that much bad mainly because of the large size of the device and the stylish looks and the solid feel is also quite admirable on this mobile phone. The silver bezel running around the edges of the front is not made of steel, it is made of plastic but it is not looking that much bad. Now let's turn on the device and let me show you the LCD, the user interface over Android ice cream sandwich. Now buddies as you can see we have got the same touches version that we got on the Samsung Galaxy S3 that is the one Samsung is calling inspired by nature though there is some optimization obviously for this device because its display is quite smaller compared to the Samsung Galaxy S3 and its CPU, GPU, RAM everything is quite lower than Samsung Galaxy S3 so there is a lot of customization, lot of optimization for this mobile phone but still you are getting the same UI that we got on the premium Galaxy S3. Now I was quite curious to see how ICS is running on this small screen and I can see that the optimization is quite good actually. It is not looking that much bad. The LCD brightness, saturation, contrast, everything is looking fairly good on this device for the price. But regarding the resolution, it is not as good as other devices in the same price tag like the HTC Explorer or the Xperia Tipo. Now the display along with the hardware buttons over here is a complete device which is just like the Samsung Galaxy Y and you are getting ice cream sandwich on board so there is no meaning of buying Galaxy Y if you can spend only 1000 to 1500 rupees more mainly because of the hardware keyboard over here. So the first thing I wanna do in this review is the testing of the keyboard. Now as you can see there is no on screen keyboard coming on the display so I should better type on the hardware keyboard over here. Well, typing on this keyboard is absolutely fun mainly because I am actually getting nice feedback from the keyboard. There is a nice clicking sound actually and though the keys are quite tiny they are actually quite raised and I am making some mistakes because I am using this for the first time. Now the keyboard is in portrait mode and I personally like portrait keyboards than landscape keyboard because I feel that landscape keyboard is quite long and you have to move your fingers a lot. I believe that after some days of use you can type on the device like a superman. I think this is the best device for those who take a lot and one thing I really wanna share here on my first impression is that the backlight on the keyboard is not as bright as I expected as you can see mainly because the keyboard is white so under backlight the alphabets are not that much prominent so under bright to normal lighting condition the keyboard may not seem that much soothing for the eyes but this is just my first impression and i will upload real in-depth reviews on this mobile phone so don't forget to subscribe now i gonna have a quick tour on the user interface now the ics hardware keys over here should have their normal functionalities like it is the menu where you are getting these options over here now here is the home as well as the multitasking key and you can just end your recent tasks just by sliding them to left or right now let me show you the notification window and you are getting a brightness control direct from here so this is actually very nice and very very handy and you are also getting the same type of sliding toggle switches right here just like the Samsung Galaxy S3. Let's turn this off to save the battery and you are getting almost all the necessary setting switches over here so there is a very little chance that you have to visit the settings. Now as you know one thing I always do on unboxing any mobile phone is to check the internal storage and also the RAM before installing any application. So let me show you that. 
and before that let me show you the android version and as you can see it is running on android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich which is quite nice because this is an entry level device and you are getting ice cream sandwich on board now let's check the internal storage along with the ram well friends as you can see you are getting nice 230 mb of ram free well 221 and you are getting almost 225 mb ram being used so total of around 450 mb of ram which is absolutely good on a device like this and the device memory is also quite nice you are getting this 1.9 gb free and only 140 mb is being used so the internal hardware of this device is quite nice the only letdown on this device is the display but don't forget that this is a budget device actually so you can't actually expect nothing more than this now here is the dialer and you are getting an on-screen dialer but i think you can use the harder keyboard as well as the on-screen keyboard unlike the messaging option and you're also getting a direct messaging key over here now you can directly switch to your call log contacts etc and i think this bar could have been here because this is a fairly large device well the call log is also showing the messaging history which is quite nice just wait for my in-depth reviews where i will show you each and every corner on this device now here is the contacts and you're also getting the swipe to call and swipe to message option like all the samsung galaxy phones and this is a really very very handy option you have to just slide over the contact well this is the calling ui and here is the call in ui and you are also getting some shortcuts which also seems quite user friendly now let me show you some applications you are getting on this device and you are getting bunch of applications and most of these are actually android applications and you are also getting some samsung apps like this specific Samsung recommended app center which actually shows the best applications suited for this mobile phone and you're also getting the messenger the Samsung chat on and also FM radio I'll show you this in my in-depth review now this phone also has the quick office and check my channel for the quick office demo video and you are also getting the game hub and here are the widgets and you are getting a live view of your widgets because you are using an ICS device now let's add one here is the gallery widget now you're also getting the option of resizing your widgets as you wish now i'm going to show you some colorful photos i have clicked not with this mobile phone obviously and i am used to see these photos on my laptop or on my optimus 3d and i am telling you the color reproduction of the lcd is fairly nice the saturation and contrast level is also looking good and pinch to zoom is also working very smooth but regarding the pixelation of the lcd i think that if you don't look from a very close distance this should not be a problem and the viewing angles are not that much good especially from the left otherwise from top and the bottom and also from right hand side it is not that much bad well friends my first impression of the device is quite good especially because of the very nice qrd keypad over here and the internal hardware that is the ram the 850 megahertz processor also seems quite reasonable on this device for the price and especially the stylish look and the very sturdy feel on the device is also quite remarkable now i'm going to test the device thoroughly and will upload in-depth reviews on this mobile phone showing you the hardware the benchmark and also the whole user interface and also do some gaming and show you the camera music browser so what you really need to do is to subscribe to Gadgets Portal. You can also visit my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Gadgets Portal for the camera samples. And if you think Gadgets Portal's reviews are good, then don't forget to like this video, comment here, and also share this video with your friends. You can also check the unboxing video of the latest Sony Xperia Tipo and also the Galaxy Y Duo Lite. So that's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.